we're in the webinar. Hi, Vincent. Hi, Rick. Good to see you. Luciano, you guys are coming in. Tiva, Kevin, great to have you here, all of you guys. I noticed a couple hours ago just that there was something broken with the automation on. So if you only received the confirmation for this webinar uh, an hour ago or so, then that's, uh, that's why. So yeah, the joy of live events. And yeah, we are starting with our LRT live SEO clinic again with our special guest, Rick Lomas again. And he should be live here any moment with his video. Uh, Rick, are you there? Uh, participants. Yeah, again, you have your Q&A, your questions and answers to ask, and we will make sure to, to sort them out a little bit to make sure that... Ah, here's Rick. Ah, ah hello. Hey, Rick, hello. I just unmuted you. Okay, can you see me? I cannot see you. Why I'll is that? promote you to a panelist. It looks like Zoom did a little update with a couple mm -hmm. new features. Let me start video. Oh yes, yeah, that, that would be that would be great. Oh, I, uh, hey I there, know. hey, good to see you. Good. Yeah, so people are coming in. David, good to see you. Andrew, Nenad, Arthur, Alex. Yeah, and we got 870 or so people that just received the notifications for this webinar an hour ago and with the link in there. So I expect them to pour in over the next 15 minutes or so. Rick, just so you know, that stuff happened. And yeah, I think we can just start with our, you know, first client that uh, gave us a site here. How do you pronounce that? That's a French site, Rick. Uh, Gite de Ville, de Ville? Gite de Ville. Uh, Gite de Ville. Gite de Ville. Okay. It, you know, a gite is like a, uh, like a guest house. Ah, okay, okay, all right. So it means kind of town, well, guest house of the town, and it's got all the towns there. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. It's got even my one there in yeah. uh, uh, Briançon, that's down there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and uh, I think this is the site by, I think we have the owner here. Is that, is that you, Vincent? Vincent, can you talk now? I'm not sure if you have a mic. You know. Hello. Oh, hello. Can you help me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can okay. hear you well. Thank you. So I'm ready for listening to you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is there anything you want to tell us about the site or your recent problems? Um, in short words, it's uh, an old website uh, more than 10 years ago uh, with a golden period uh, in uh, five years ago, and uh, which is decreasing progressively uh, with probably one fault on my side, which was to ask to all the, um, uh, the hosts which have a vacation rental uh, to generate a, a web link exchange. So um, each time there is a, a new place on this site, I discussed with, I was uh, asking to owners to create on their own website a link to, to this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that's the anchor with the, um, it says, uh, oh, um, Annonce de Gite de Ville. So yes, Gite de Ville, yes. Yeah. Um, if you look at the Anchor Text Cloud, yeah. Christoph, you can see that. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I, I mean... I would actually say that's a compound with a Gite de Ville and the Annonce, right? Yes. Okay, you know what strikes me immediately here, Rick, is uh, all these wallpaper links. Oh yeah, they're, uh, they're everywhere, right? They're everywhere at the moment. Yeah. Um, did, 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 did you manage to figure out what's you know? Is there some kind of an organization or a special 
product that these wallpaper people I, I I haven't. I mean I've been looking around on you know places like Black Hat World and trying to find if someone's selling a script or something to make yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. because um, there must be something like that. Um but um it's obviously one of these things where you you, know, you make a thousand sites and you know each one makes ten cents a day and you know, because you have a thousand it's worth doing. Um but um yeah, I, I I can't find out who's responsible at the moment. Um, but uh, I would hope that Google would ignore these. But um, as we said before, I, I can't trust Google to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sent me the screenshots from like 20 minutes ago with the two uh, reconsideration requests and the penalties gone just uh, June 11. What? No, June. Yeah, June 11, 1500. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this wild tool works. That's I'm, I'm happy to know. <laughs> yeah. You said it last time. You wouldn't have a job if it wouldn't work, right? No. Well, I'd have to think <laughs> something else to do. How many panels do you get rid of per day? Is it usually two? Oh, it's, it's not as good as it used to be, I, um, because at the moment, since the uh, COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. um, Google have gone really, really slow. So at the moment, I've got about kind of twelve that I'm waiting for answers for. Mm -hmm. So it's only really at the moment like one or two a week at the very most. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, you know, it's still. Can I still... ask you a small question? Sure. Oh, sure. Yes, about the by detox risk as the last. Uh, tab, uh, there is some big and red uh, text. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't think uh, I am uh, pushing that kind of uh, web link. So, does it mean uh, someone uh, try to give some bad web links voluntary? Mm -hmm. Okay, do, do you mean these, the, the, the ones that say get free high quality HD wallpapers? For sure, uh, I never discuss about uh, HG wallpapers or something like that. So it's very strange to me. Uh, yeah. To, to see that kind of link, it's not usual. Uh, I mean, it's not in my activity or no. any links with a, a rental uh, website. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't think these are actually malicious. It's just a, it's just a, um, uh, it's a script that scrapes the web and just pulls images. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, they aren't links you want. Uh, um, this is what we were just discussing, and we would hope that uh, Google would it would ignore them, but we don't trust Google to do that. <laughs> so, yeah. we, so we'd like so, to disavow those. Yeah. So the action here is just to select all these nine hundred links that are about free wallpapers, for example, and just disavow them on the root domain. They come from some hacked websites usually and uh, while this may seem like something that's easy to spot we cannot be sure that it's spotted and we mm -hmm. want to make sure that they don't count and so a lot of different things that we find on your website are also already highlighted here so for example you have links from websites that have a virus or have malware on it and so these are infected domains that shouldn't be linking yeah uh, yeah or you don't want to be associated with them because that sure. could get you into even more trouble. So we disavow them just with a button here. And then we have some links that are on websites that are not there anymore, at least not at the time of crawling. So when we look at them, we, we usually, you know, with these other parameters here for detox risk, we see that they are also some kind of hacked. So we got the wallpaper links in here, for example, or whatever Ban Leo Leon is, um, just from looking at the URLs, uh, from the experience, we see that these are all really, really bad links and we would clean them up in one click. We can always reverse that later on, but for now our objective is to get this risk from 1500 down to a thousand. And yeah, sure. Yeah. And so when we continue looking uh, through the domains, uh, you could potentially see here already that there are so many weird domains linking to you that you never heard of before from weird extensions like .ga or .gk. Uh, yeah. look, the most links you have are from these weird. I don't even know what the extension CF stands for, but... Um, oh, I do. What, what is .cf? 
there's there's a few domains there's a, a cf ml tk yeah uh, gg gq and gc um they, they were all uh, i think they still are they're, they're actually free domains oh um, okay. they, they, they're all to do with like little parts of africa and weird yeah. places in the pacific but you can actually get a free domain there so obviously if you've got a um, you know if you're making these sites in bulk where you're just producing a load of spam uh you're not paying the 10 pa 10 euros a year for the uh for the main, you even get that free you get it free yeah, yeah. and so, it seems since retargeting to only pictures um uh, mostly yeah 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 um, so they might be hot linking some of the images that you have on the site but they could as well you know have uh you know some some other content from your website stolen but when we look at the overall distribution of the of the source domains or even here in the in the link profiles you know look at that almost 40 percent of your backlinks are in this high risk category without yeah. without looking down at the detail 40 percent of the backlinks probably need to go you know we could in theory you know do a brute force disavow here, but uh, mm -hmm. the idea is to to look a little bit closer. You know, disavowing everything will result in you not having any links. And yeah, um, just a quick note, Rick. I think our chat was closed, our internal one, right? Um, Are you still there? Can I've, I just... I've got it on on a separate computer. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, ah. Okay. So you're there. Not okay. That one. Yeah. Good, yeah, 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 just, okay. And sorry for the confusion here. Um, so what we suggest to do is, uh, if you have, and this is a question to you, do you have a manual action, a penalty by, by Google that you see in your Google Search Console? I don't know, I don't think. No, okay. Um, what we would see is, you know, if that is the case, we would go and, disavow a lot more aggressive. Your first mm -hmm. objective, your first goal is to get rid of this manual action. And then you can actually undisavow the links later on. But let's talk about the website in itself and maybe some other factors that we found. You know, when we look at the target pages of your website, so mm -hmm. your website itself, we found some problems here uh, also on that website. You know, we have this here in this new interface, or we have uh, had the, the tool called Link Choose Recovery for many, many years. I think since 2009, since the launch. It looks a little bit different, original from the classic, where we mm -hmm. see that parts of your website have links, but the website pages are not there anymore. So for example, uh, Rick said to me, this guy doesn't have a website. What do we do in the <laughs> audit, right? And when we go to your website without the shit they will, yes. without the <laughs> shit <laughs> in, <laughs> in French, shit. <laughs> hard to say. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. okay. Yeah. But without the dub dub dub, um, there is no website installed according to this error message from OVH, your hoster. Okay, and interesting. So the redirection is uh, not well uh, configured. It's, it's not done at all. And you have, according to this report alone, 56 links going to that. Yeah. non dub 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 So you are missing those links. Maybe they are some bad links, but maybe they were helping you in the past and are not anymore. And this, um, this subdomain here, it looks like an old subdomain that uh, because it has links to an HTTP, the non-SSL version, uh, and all of these are returning a 500 error which just you know means all those links are not working anymore for you and i'm i'm guessing what that is it's yeah. i think uh, uh, um, Jeep de campagne i think that was probably one of those add-on domains that you get with hostings yes uh, there is um, a sub part of the site with this uh, subdomain yeah okay, okay. Um, well not anymore and i would recommend to you know yeah. clean that up and, and make sure the redirects are and also for the gdg dot jiteville oh, uh, some oh that one uh, was uh, confidential the last part <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, pas encore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you lost me. Okay. Um, Talk uh, you interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, um, I mean, one thing I did think as well is, um, uh, I mean, your site isn't responsive. I, I, I know that's a thing you can't fix overnight. Um, but I mean, what Google have said is that you know if, if someone's getting a bad user experience with a the site then uh, you know as the user experience falls off you know that that is a ranking factor to sort of um you know generally not make your site rank as well which could have been something that has affected it say in the last five years you know uh, as people are starting to use mobile devices more um, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, but the, the, one of the things we need to look at uh, Christoph is yeah. is what is what Vanson was on was talking about about the um, um, annonce. See the A N N O N S C E. If 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 you look for that in the in the uh, anchor text, yeah, yeah, just put in A N. That's okay. See like this, and you see there's actually tons of anchors with. I mean, it just means. Um, um, announcement, but um, or yeah, yeah, advert, or, you know. advertisement. But, um, and also, and, and if you look at a lot of these actual links, there's because as as Vincent said, you know, he asked the webmaster to put a link in there, yeah. and they're all very similar, and quite often they're just stuffed in the footer of the site. Yeah. Uh, so now it looks really spammy and really manipulative, you know, mm -hmm. which uh, I can see Google objecting to. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they used to work in the past, of course. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. That's sure. Something... <laughs> but no more. Uh, no more. I mean, maybe some of them are still helping you, but uh, many of them were are, are, are simply manipulation. They were, mm. and they did work, and it worked for a long time, but now Google doesn't like that anymore. So all of those uh, would be up for a review. And when you look at, for instance, the footer link, uh, the footer links that you mentioned, you could even just filter by them. Oh, say what? Uh, oh, I definitely saw one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe maybe the detection of the you know the, the the rendering is not perfect, but if it's more than one. But when we look at these uh, links, he, oh, we still need to look at the active link. So there are a lot of links that are not there anymore, and they could be causing a problem as well. We have experience with uh, disavowing links that are so-called deleted on, on websites that actually have a, an error code as well. And because there is an error code, you cannot make sure that the link is really gone. So Google keeps trying and they stay in the system. So disavowing those uh, is also good practice. And I'm not sure to understand that part. It's some website which did some links, but their website are no more available, or it's the reverse. Can you say that again, Vincent? Yes. Um, my, my question is about: um, uh, Is it some links which are directing to my website on? Uh, page which are no more uh, available or is it some old links from websites which are no more existing uh, the one the one christoph was talking about yeah. was the last one you said mm -hmm. um, although when we were talking about the other tool the link juice recovery tool um, christoph did find some links to parts of your site that no longer exist so a bit of both really yeah but yeah. what we were just talking about now was the ones where um, there was a link in the past, but now the, the site is offline or it's gone. Or, um, and what we were saying was, is that um, 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 even though the link is gone, uh, you know, Google might still think it's there and keeps trying to crawl it. And uh, yeah, and that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Cool. yeah. yeah and when it comes to the website, when, when you start working on that, I would recommend to just use some uh, I don't even know is which system or script this is running on, but it's really, really slow. Like it takes 12 seconds to load um, for the first interactive move when you can do something. And all of these metrics here from Google Lighthouse are in the, the yellow or even in the red. 
and you want them to be green to be here the okay. 90 otherwise you will have no chance against any any competitors who are fixing this so of course your website and your website technology and your website speed all these things matter and are important and the content of the website of course as well so if you have the perfect backlink profile but a website that is as slow and, and broken as here then you still won't rank as well as you did so google pays a lot of attention to that and uh, you should too and so this is why we also highlight some of these problems so for instance you have links to target pages with more than five seconds load time and five seconds load time is already a lot now imagine that these links are actually clicked by people they have to wait for five seconds on a on a desktop computer that means on mobile it probably takes 12 or 15 seconds and that's just not acceptable for today's standards in I agree. on the web in 2020 yeah? so this is something you need to do anyways and when you do that you can fix the redirects that we found and yeah of course maybe look at the website itself because i have I, I, to me it looks like a directory that is a very very thin content as google calls it so the question is what kind of other reasons have people to go there and why should this rank versus some other websites this is an answer that you know i cannot you know, shoot right now because i don't know the market i don't know the language and so forth but uh, you've been around for a long time so that speaks for you you have the, the authority you have the history and so you can make something of it ah here's a little link to a blog and here's a little blog but you stopped blogging in 2013 why <laughs> yeah. yes that's, that's the yeah. thing yeah and uh yeah nobody wakes up in the morning to go to a website to read a blog post from 2013 i'm sorry <laughs> which does not mean that you should post everything every day you know some people have this oh we need to post something fresh 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 not good either yeah but uh i, I would i would try to look into that as well because that mm -hmm. will mean you have an easier way to get to new links even if you take money and pay for links people will have a problem linking to you know seven years old content right so yeah. th those two things go together Literally. yeah and with <laughs> that i would say we go to the next example Rick, okay merci thank merci. you very much so medium controls uh What's next? Next, we said, wait, let me close all these windows. Uh, furnishing gear. Okay. So, wait, who's the owner here? Uh -huh. Hang on. I think this one has a, has a large amount of uh, uh, image links as well. Yeah. So, to wow. How do you pronounce that name? To 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 Are you here in the in the call in the in the meeting? Mm. Ah. To I guess not. I guess not. No. Well then, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the next one? Is Rosanna? No, not in the call. Siena Pacific. We got a question here from someone that I think I saw Andrew a couple times already. The whole oh. group was. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think we looked at this site already, only very briefly. Come on, it's two clicks and then we got wallpaper links again. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, we're gonna look at your site right now because you're here because you have been here before and uh, you really deserve this now. And we can use the random generator then for the next. Wait. Link profile, source TLDs, source domains. Oh, you've got some support. stuff this about here already. Did you open it, uh, Rick? 
I'm just thinking now, there's one that was run today, there's one that's run back in May as well. Um, oh. So, did you look at it in a different clinic, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I think we didn't get to it, because it looks <laughs> like, it looks like, oh, let's see if Andrew wants to tell us something about it. I think it didn't have a mic on or something. Andrew, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, right. we can hear you. Perfect. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, so, yeah, this site, I guess you guys ran it uh, uh, a couple months ago. For some reason, I couldn't get on. But uh, I, I've actually been I'm more of a marketing, I guess, uh, like content person, to be honest with you. Um, I did your detox tool a couple different times on the site. I actually just did it three months ago and removed all the highs. Um, so I'd be surprised if uh, the detox screen I just saw was high. That would yeah. give me a little bit of a shock. Yeah. See, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because it should be, you know, around a thousand, you know, give or take 50 maybe. And of course, if we would do a competitive detox and look at all your competitors, we may be able to find out that it's higher or lower, but 2,150 looks, looks bad. And uh, yeah, literally, I just removed all of those three months ago, every single high, I went through over a 1000 links that were yeah. either bad or irrelevant, yeah. or sites no longer existed. And all of those were submitted on the dis disavow file three mm -hmm. months ago. Okay. And did we get your disavow file for this training account? Because we're running this in our training account. Uh, I sent your, I, I'm not sure what the question is, but I sent the disavow file to Emmanuel or whoever I sent it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we are seeing uh, disavows here, but you said you did that a couple of months ago. And what it looks like to me is that your disavow file is maybe already outdated again. Because, you know, bam, you got a couple new links right now. It could happen. And this is why we recommend to run uh, you know, a link audit or a, a link risk management on an ongoing basis. And this is what we have, you know, in a system now where you could configure, you know, in the link crawl budget management to say, okay, this is a super important site that needs to be refreshed weekly or monthly, or, you know, maybe only a year. And then all of these notifications and alerts would show up on the, on the dashboard automatically when you log in. So it runs in the background with your you doing anything and if you say you did clean up a couple months ago and we see all of this already then there's certainly something going on with links targeting your website i don't see virus links here but there's a lot of you know what, what looks like a negative seo pattern you know these wallpaper scraper sites at least are yeah. there again and i think uh, you know we, we disavowed 900 links of those the last time already and uh, I recommend to do that again to just keep up and make sure that you are on top of things because you know Google could say they you know do it for you but what's their incentive to help you rank better and so <laughs> yeah I mean, that's 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 just absolutely I mean for my opinion that's absolutely crazy I mean I'm a small business I run a small real estate site right mm -hmm. and uh I think I'm on top of this, but I just can't believe I see that many detox links right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So that gives me something to do for the next couple of days. Yeah. Um, also, Christoph, if you look for the Anchor um, Scottsdale real, real estate, yeah, um, there's quite a lot of sort of comment spam from like 2010 as well. Okay. Um, so, that is, oh wait, just let me, I need to move you to. Just let me remove that filter here. Real quick. And you're saying comments regarding comments to the pages? Um, I'm just looking at one on Blogspot here. Um, it's the home group has uh, a trusted place to buy a house. I mean, you know, it's, but it's on a. Oh, so it's a link that's 10 years old. It's a link that's, yeah, it's a comment that's 10 years old, yeah. Um, but there seems to be quite a lot with Scottsdale real estate in, in the anchor. And, uh, I assume that's, do, do you rank for that phrase anymore? Nah, that's really too competitive of a phrase. I mean, my whole problem right now is I'm competing with large scale businesses that are dominating page one, 
on the search results. So basically about five years ago, my traffic was averaging about 6,000 unique visitors a month mm -hmm. with all the Google algorithm changes and all that crap. Uh, pardon my French, no, no pun intended. Um, my traffic's dropped to like 1200 a month yeah. and it's, uh, it's been, a, it's just a struggle every day to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that, you know, real estate is super competitive. Uh, and gotten more competitive over all these years. And um, I think going for this main phrase for real estate in Scottsdale uh, is is something that I wouldn't even, you know, consider doing. <clears throat> all these variations that you have, yes. So Yeah, well, then the niche used to be, so the cities are like Scottsdale, Phoenix, Chandler. So going for those terms are, are virtually impossible. But now the companies like Zillow and truly and uh, companies like that are dominating the first page on the subdivision. So like DC ranch homes for sale, Scottsdale ranch homes for sale. Uh, they're now dominating all those positions as well. So what I'm looking for is a way, a competitive edge, right? And I don't, I don't know what else to do. That's why I'm kind of coming to you guys, even though I've used your tool yeah, for the yeah. past three years, probably. Oh, if you, My FBO uh, guy now. yeah, yeah. Well, if you, I, I totally get that. You know, if you are the, the David here against the Goliaths, you you certainly need to find that edge and find that niche because pff, all the money that they are throwing at, you know, their SEO, SEO their advertising, yeah. their links, their content, how do you want to keep up with that? And and it's it starts with little things like this. I have to pull up this Lighthouse Viewer again, your website. Well, on the performance is uh, the homepage for whatever reason ranks lower than the rest of the site, but my site is also 100% AMP compliant. Yeah. yeah. So I'm running AMP. So the, the Google indexing is, I mean, that's 91 to 100% on all my pages in AMP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe, you know, then that would be a reason to check, you know, what are the top pages that you got links to and, and look at those. You know, if you say the homepage is not as popular and not as important to me, you could say, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, you know, which pages have the most backlinks here or the most visitors in your Google Analytics. And, and then, uh, you know, look at them one by one or maybe you know them already because, well, after all, it's your business. But I would look like this. I would say your target URL is here. And I would just sort. Yeah, and uh, the most important page, according to the links, is the home page. And then Desert Rich, which desertrich.htm, which... And that's the old HTML page. I mean, that should obviously redirect to the new page. Oh, okay. Which it, which it does here to the for sale minus two with uh, 6.6 .6 seconds here on my, you know, gigabit uh, desktop computer. So all the links and the rankings for this page uh, are probably also affected badly by you know just this thing loading too slow yeah in addition to the redirect chain and when we when we look at that in detail here uh, from the source pages you probably also have some yeah you have good ones but you also have some bad ones that you already took care of and when we look at that redirect trace so maybe that's not the big Let's take this one, the, the Bitter Lake Quartzite. Wow, show me, show me a good link. <laughs> and so lots of poor ones. So here's a blog post from 2010, linking to, oh, sorry. I, I somehow, I somehow deleted that one. I wanted to show you a redirect trace of where this page redirects to. So here we have it, McCormick Ranch. You got two or three redirects for each of those. And so the DC Ranch redirects to the DC Ranch Homes for Sale. And there is some, yeah, some history from the site migrations visible here. And right. And we could have, you know, 
a filter here saying more than five target hops. Oh no, that's good. So Google says if you have uh, links or if you have a website where the pages redirect more than five times, then we stop crawling it. So this is why we have this embedded filter here because all those pages or links from those pages would you know, just evaporate automatically. So that's also some, some on-site feature to fix with you know, just your website and your, and your content management system. But uh, when we uh, look at all these wallpaper links, what I did before was just go in here, say real estate has nothing to do with wallpapers. I just said every link with the word wallpapers in it, it's gonna go disavow by the root domain. Whatever it is, I don't even want to see. It. Maybe you know I would later go and say, yeah, okay, let's look at you know those what 589 <laughs> from a high level perspective and see if there's one link at least to keep by just looking at the power trust by the power of those link sources. And not a single one <clears throat> is there to keep. So, so how many high detox links do I have right now? Because I, I figured doing this once every three months was acceptable, and obviously that's not the case. It, it doesn't look like that at the moment. So it could either be your, your industry specifically, or it could be someone even uh, sending you a lot of spam links um, by intention to hurt you. So this is something that I cannot you know, say right now, but uh, we see these patterns a lot especially from the wallpapers. So some of those are automated. And if you somehow, let's say, entered this spam funnel and your domain somehow is on these lists for these bots creating that, then you could expect that a lot of that is going on right now as we speak. So every three months then is probably not enough. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's look at the, the distribution of your uh, high risk links. We got 32.8% high risk links. So that's uh, 1700, 1700 still. And from those, we have disavowed quite a bunch already. And we could you know, restrict this further by just clicking control and disavowed, adding the embedded filter for disavowed here. So I clicked on disavowed tab here and so 500, 56 are disavowed already out of those. So I still have 1200 roughly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Let's look again. We can click through from, sorry, we can. No, it was 1700 in total and not disavowed. 1185. Yeah, that's 1,200 almost new ones that we found that uh, that we found now, but that have been around for two years. So here's the thing: when we crawl the web, like all the other um, database link databases, when we crawl the web, we may discover something that has been around for a lot longer. And in other products like Majestic, SEMrush, Ahrefs, you name it, they specify a crawl date, a first crawl date that we also have here, a link crawl state and a crawl date. But what we do, you know, first seen crawl date when we saw this the last time, but what we do specifically in link research tools is to try to estimate when that link really appeared on the web by looking at the content of the web, you know, dates in there and we try to understand how long has this really been around? And it looks like these links have been around for two years already. And we only just discovered them thanks to the crawling and recrawling that we do. So this is also a reason to, you know, set up Link Detox Smart on a regular recrawling schedule, because this means uh, potentially also finding stuff that we never saw again, you know, uh, never saw before, I'm sorry, yeah? and nobody else. Yeah? So um, in this case, uh, 1100 of the high ones. If you want to go and disavow them all, it will be this one click. I would suggest though, you know, as bad as this looks, to still spend some time and look at the source page power trust. 
have we got an A-list directory, reality biz news. Um, they, they are marked as high risk, but if you say, I think that the, whatever, the diverselist.com website, you know, and it's been around for five years, your link there, and you know that one's good, you could still upgrade it and say, this is a good one, we keep it. But uh, the way it looks to me right now, um, all of these can be, you know, disavowed. The, there yes, is please. something, so sorry, Andrew. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I was just going to say um, something I just noticed. Um, there's a lot of these domains like uh, uh, fbbd.uk um, that has like um, tons of subdomains. Oh. And for some reason, detox is uh, sharing the detox risk as zero. It's probably because it's gone. But I think that is also skewing that, you know, when you were looking at the at the graph with the risk, it's showing ah, a lot okay. of like mm -hmm. low risk. I yeah. think it's because of this, of this the, these old domains with this weird subdomain. Um, I mean, probably if you look for, um, yeah, I mean, if it, could you do, um, could you look for the domain fbbd.uk? <clears throat> And so just quickly, and, and as from coming from a novice, not non-SEO person, right? And on the detox that I did three months ago, I literally clicked on a thousand links and went to each one of those pages. 90% of them were bad sites or no longer available. Mm -hmm. So somebody's obviously, I mean, somebody's obviously either targeting my site or I'm stuck in some kind of a spam loop or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah either of those and that's the pattern you get all the bad links from domains that are there for a short time they send negative signals and then these domains get taken offline and because of that they cannot be recrawled so neither google or us can verify that the link is there or not so it sticks in the system that's the pattern and it's been around for a couple of years already and this there's little talk about that because uh, Google would never confirm that something like that works. So would that potentially be harming my site or do we know? Yeah. No, no. It's the way it looks like it's definitely harming your site because also what matters is the weight, you know, the distribution. If you have, let's say, 100 good links and 100 bad links, that's 50-50. But over time, the negative links build up. That's the idea. And especially for a smaller businesses, that's the negative SEO trick, if you want. The strategy is to send you so much crap links that you just drown in it, and the couple, the few good ones, don't stick out anymore. And this, this is something that Google says they level out, but they don't. Uh, at least not effectively for all businesses. And it's very different. If, 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 if the same happens to Zillow or Amazon, these are domains that can get all the spam of the world. And so given what we know are patterns, it's actually a very dangerous statement by Google to say, if you are a normal business, um, a non-SEO, then you shouldn't use the disavowal tool. Um, this means that some people just disregard this, this risk, disregard these problems and don't even look at you know, um, stuff going on there. Well, but, uh, yeah, and I need to do it once a month I and mean, this once a month, I don't think is, is doable. So you think that as well as the overall site speed is, is the main issue. This, the site speed surprises me. I've had my site optimized easily 30 times and I've paid for yeah. it that many times. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, this is what, what I'm using here are um, the new bookmarking ads to, to the new lighthouse. It's a very new version that they just released um, three weeks ago. They, they launched in May uh, what they call web vitals. And the web vitals are metrics that they show in Google Search Console and also show in this new lighthouse report viewer. And to give you an idea how new this is, this is only available via GitHub, the, the programming repository, and it's not even built into Chrome yet. 
where you have all that stuff uh, usually also. And what I can say, what I, what I see here is you have fantastic numbers or, or pretty great numbers here, 83 for performance, 91 for SEO for the desktop. And that's fine. However, Google wants your website to perform best on mobile. And that well, so and that's why the site every every page beside the home page has been converted to AMP. Okay. Okay. So every every page is running AMP format besides the actual home page. So if you test any one of the pages, yeah, uh, and then go to AMP, you'll see the performance is virtually a hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's let's take a look. I just picked a random one here for the Arizona schools and government. Well, let's not do. Let's do this. Go to communities, please. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's go to go to like any one of those. Uh huh. Sure that. And then test that the this photo right here, the first photo on the right. Mm -hmm. uh, up up. Ah. Ah here here, the element. Yeah, uh, yeah that's the left. that's the landing page then for. So that's what's pulling uh, the the data. So go not now on that. Uh -huh. Wow, you realize I just got a very intrusive interstitial uh, when I was trying to see the offer. Yeah, well, that's a registration for the IDX feed that you're seeing below. So if you take that URL slash amp, you'll see the performance in mobile. So that's your AMP page. Okay. And now we run this through Lighthouse. You know, from what I heard is that this, this whole AMP thing is going away again. Uh, please don't, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, there, I'm sorry. Me. I'm sorry to be the party pooper here, but uh, that's, you're right. The AMP page is really fast here. So <laughs> that's cool. And exactly that. Yeah. Should and it goes away, I'll be pissed because the development time on that has been awful. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. So yeah. keep in mind, I'm a, I'm a one person shop, right? So I'm doing this all on my own. Wow, right? Congratulations, yeah. You got very far with that. Yeah, and you know, when it comes to and this is exactly what we try to solve with this new generation here, uh, called Smart. We try to give you, when it comes to the backlinks at least, to give you these interpretations uh, with the tips and the fix buttons. So, for example, you shouldn't be thinking about virus links. Just click on fix for those. And many others of these high risk ones you could solve with a fix here. And we even plan to introduce this fix automatically button in the future where you can, you know, only just look what happened and download the dismal file and confirm that you uploaded it. This, this step would be the last one to, to, to do. But I understand, you know, if you're a one man shop and you, you're taking care of all of these things yourself, every little bit is too much already. And the, right. the bad news is um, I don't have good news. This is your website and you're managing it, you're hosting it, you're maintaining the content there and you are, well, target of links good links or bad links and uh are you doing any kind of uh link building or outreach or, or promotions to get new links you know good links yeah i mean i'm not doing i'm i got flagged for uh, i worked with an seo company about six years ago and they did a lot of unnatural links and i got flagged by unnatural links so i'm not i'm really wary of doing that i mean i'm updating my blog every day i've got uh ghost writers that are writing content for me on various sites that I'm getting links for. The, the problem is, is I've, I've used your tool, right? And I'll be, it's just way over my head, right? I'm just, yeah. I'm not that technical. I'm semi-technical, yeah. but I don't, I don't know what's good, bad, or indifferent. So that's yeah. kind of what I was hoping. And I'm getting some of that here. Yeah. I just yeah. need someone else to kind of do this for me. And it sounds like I need someone to do it for me once a month, twice a month now. Yeah. 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 That would, sorry, Rick. Can I ask a question? Um, so you, you said you got a, 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 a flag for unnatural links. Did you fix that? Yes, it's been removed. Okay, right, good, good. Okay. But that's where my traffic was. It was six thousand six thousand five hundred a month when that when before that penalty 
uh -huh. uh, after seven resubmissions to Google, they removed the penalty. My traffic dropped to 3,000. Now with the latest algorithm change, it's now down to 1,200. Yeah. So it just continually drops no matter what I do. Okay. And, and to, get, to get rid of that penalty, did you, did you like disavow really, really heavy? Uh, we had to go through my site probably six times. Mm -hmm. and resubmit uh, reconsideration request, and they finally removed it after about a year and a half. Okay. okay. And being a small business, getting 95% of your business from uh, internet leads, that was a fun time. Yeah. I know, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. It was this is how Rick started. Your business yes. got wiped out overnight. In you know, so you guys, off, you guys off, offer services to go through, but I, I'm smart enough, I can go through all the detox links, right? I can click one by one, and remove all of those. So if I do that, what's the next step for me? What what I would say is um, is you know don't just look for the ones with the high detox risk. Um, I would look for the kind of overdone anchors. I mean, what I can see here is lots of you know Scottsdale, whatever Scottsdale real estate, um, a, a lot of that. And if you were to look at your competitors, you'd probably find that they don't have that many. Um, that many links with you know them kind of money heavy um, anchors so um, I wouldn't necessarily you know just go for the red ones I would actually look at them and there's a really good rule the uh, suspicious 31 which I use a lot um, which is the unnatural link placement and um, I, I would do a filter for the suspicious 31 and I would look at all those and I'd really try and make it so that Actually, Christoph, can we look at the um, the, yeah. the ratio of brand to brand to money anchors? Yeah, sure. Because um, well, I suspect it's probably distribution here. So, oh. do you guys provide this service, or have third parties that can actually do this? That's not thousands, tens of thousands, or thousands of dollars, right? I mean, because literally, I, I have a feeling with your guys' expertise, yeah, you know what yeah. to look for and what not to i have no clue right i, yeah. I really don't i can yeah. see red red's bad remove red yeah. that's pretty much where i'm at yeah um, so what we here. have is these these managed services you know where experts like rick and in this case maybe rick specifically could help you do that on a monthly retainer where we just set up a monthly uh, program for you to just look into this and of course in the beginning this is something you know that's a little bit more work for us and then a little bit less work but that's how our retainers work right but you have your expert looking at your account on a regular basis you know running everything classifying everything that's my business and we, we we've been working for the last 11 years to to improve the quality of the results but then you still have to have someone to have the guts to say yes we disavow this and this we cannot automate fully. And this is where Rick comes in. Well, Rick, I'd like to talk to you about that offline. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Wonderful. So, and yeah, with that, I would say we have time for a third one. I want to keep this, um, you know, shorter than the three and a half hours that we had the last time. So thank you very much, Andrew, for this one. And we'll be in touch regarding, you know, the ongoing services. When it comes to the next participant, uh, let's see if we have. All right, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you. I'll, I'll mute you again. Uh, Sorry. There we go. So, uh, so let's it. see, uh, Rick. We had Sienna Pacific. Oh, where's my random generator? We need to draw again here so many submissions so little time but don't worry we'll do this again in two weeks uh right rick yeah yeah, yeah i'm good for that uh, every every first day 10 a.m new york time so here's ton has with webton nl are you there i don't it doesn't look like draw again Gonzalo. No. Now, people, if you don't show up, then we won't look at your site. It's simple like that. I mean, we did all the preparations anyways already. So maybe next time. 
so maybe here's a wall. Alex. Of course, then you guys, Alexander. So what do you say, Rick? You want to pick one? Uh, yeah, I was going to. I was going to say let's save the German ones for the German. Yeah, uh, yeah. One. Um, should, uh, should we look at the Siena one? That yeah, let's before? let's do that because we've yeah. Siena Pacific. Yeah. Yeah. So we looks like we don't have you in the audience here, so we might keep this shorter then for this time. Rosanna, and let's take a look. It's always interesting to see the new sites. Oh, and we got the wallpapers one here again. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm oh. going to create a filter right now. I, I, I wanted to do that before, but I'm going <laughs> to, you know, my anchor, if the anchor contains wallpapers. Uh, yeah, or, 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 or just a dot, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I talk to me. I can probably help with that because uh, I deal <laughs> with that every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're saving the wallpapers filter, and then just a dot equals dot. Yeah, you want equals, not like. No. Yeah, yeah. Five hundred thirteen. Yeah. Lots of them. Okay, I'm gonna save that one again. Uh, save. Um, the name will be just dot oh um it's not as popular now but there used to be ones that just had a had a lowercase l for the anchor as well a lowercase l like link yeah just on its own um <laughs> okay I, I don't see that so often though i must admit okay yeah but worth... now i got my tap in here you see this i think for this and for all the upcoming uh shows we're gonna use that one really really quick and you know, we could also make this a, a link issue to show up later on. But when I see all these wallpaper domains here, huh, is there anything good here where the source domain power trust is? No, not at all. But there's 700 domains. I'm just gonna get rid of right now. Yeah. The, the other the other one with this one is the uh, um, uh, coupon uh, domains. You know the kind of scrape scraping things. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, they've all got the same template. Hang on. Oh my god. And these the dot domains are even worse. You know, just when I look at the domain names briefly, I saw some not safe for work names. So <laughs> let's go through these quickly. Have you ever seen a legit link that has dot in it? Um. There's there's one called pseudo picks that uh, it, it uh, detox classes it as a tox three, yeah. but it does get traffic, uh, not oh. much. But okay. um, that's the only one I've ever seen. But even then, I I disavow it. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if it's just a dot or it actually says source. I can't, I can't think now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, but it's, um, and it's, here we got the coupon. Go coupon. Yeah, but what you'll find. Um, it's lots of toxicity. Oh my god! Yeah, um, if you were to create a filter that has looks for the anchors, coupon, discount, promo, uh, oh, and uh, voucher, uh, you'd probably you'd probably find all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that. Coupon, promo, uh, voucher, uh -huh. uh, uh, dis discount. Discount. Uh -huh. um, okay. I think that. See, enter. Uh, oh, here's a good one from the Link Arena. That's a link directory that I remember from 2003. Link Arena? Oh, so think a social it bookmarking site, I think it was. Yeah. It's classified as not so risky, but custom embroidered patches. 
So did that fail to work or? Yeah, we got 67 results here. Okay, okay. Um, I, I think they're all from the, I think another way, if you wanted to sort of like make this filter really a definite, I think they're all got the IP that starts with, it's either 401 or 501 or something. Oh. Wow. Well, that's for you then. I would I would be careful with hard coding IPs because bam, you just stop a container and start a new AVS container and you have a new IP address. So yeah, but, but. dangerous. Backpackers chat is linking to them with lug luggage tags. Oh, a little bit confusing. We're looking at the source pages. Oh, right. Okay. And luggage tags is not in here. However, this page has two links, as we can see here. So one of them says promotional luggage tags and the other one just luggage tags. And so maybe okay. this is a link that doesn't fall into this category of, of coupon spam. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't mean anchor. God, sorry. I meant, <laughs> sorry, that's why it didn't work. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean anchor, I meant, um, the source, the URL. source URL contains ah, those. Okay. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. No problem. Source I thought I'd gone mad for a minute. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> this is a bug that we had a while ago. And it's still there. Source URL, please. Source URL. Uh, promo. I got to type all of these again. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a good uh, reminder that we still have this to fix here in the in the user interface. It should stay there because it was string. Nine hundred thirty. Wow, Rick, does this look more like stuff that you would disavow? Get code, go coupon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's have a look at the links again. Uh-huh. Uh. Yeah, so that's 930 links. Let me save that filter, I like it. Um, yeah, that's, that's... I call it coupon spam. Maybe we'll get back to it later. You know, uh, we still got some of your old <laughs> filters from the last time. I remember this one with a hundred domains in it or so. No, that's 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 a good one though, is that so? <laughs> yeah, should we look at it? Yeah. I'm not sure I've seen much of that on this one, but I tell you what, the um the guy with the Scottsdale real estate, mm -hmm. um it would have worked on that. It would have worked on that because I saw loads of them um uh, at cross.uk and plumbers in Nottingham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um but I, I saw them with his one. I, yeah, I forgot to okay. mention that. But I forgot yeah. we had the filter, to be honest. I realize, you know, this is where, of course, your expertise comes in for for things that we cannot or, or, or want not automate for everyone, you know, because if we had use some of these on a regular basis, then that's good for you as a consultant. But uh, if we would have them in the system, it would become even more intransparent. You know, people today even ask, oh, how it do would you be do confusing. This? Yeah. Yeah, it would be confusing. It would be like, um, I, I suppose what you'd need is a kind of, um, you know, like a sort of library on the LRT site where, yeah. you know, for, for people who get advanced, they can you could say, oh, here's what we found that targets real estate sites, you know, and have a kind of filter that you can somehow put into the system, you know. But I, I think if you were to give this to everybody, it would uh, they would wonder what the hell it was all about, really. But yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. When but, I look at all yeah. these links that we just identified, here's one green indie paradise. Let's have a look the other it. ones are just. <laughs> And this one is an unverified one, sort of fundraising hub. Oh, connection timeout. Three weeks ago, it changed from OK to now to 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 not not connected. So that is a page that you know when we load this up here. I oh know it's not available anymore. So this link, this website disappeared. Okay, the domain even exists. Nope. Hmm. So here we have, we would have a 
yeah, an expired domain, but an expired domain with eight with eight links is not exactly the most sexy one to get. Right. When I look at the sample backlinks here in our QBL, have you seen that one, Rick? Oh, no. To which side? No, I was sorry. I'm in the wrong project. Yeah. Huh. No, I was thinking about you know if this if this domain is worth getting registering. In this case, I would just say no and disavow it. And but for the other ones that we saw, is there something to keep? Anything with trust? Not at all. Yeah. And if, if you just if, if if you look at a few, you'll see that they're all the same. They're all auto generated. They're all, uh -huh. um, you know, just useless really. What? No, I just opened the same thing a couple times. Huh? Let's open the screener. Favorite tool. And look at some of them. Sienna Pacific. No. Oh, did we run this with internal links? No. Custom promo stickers, blogspot.de. Is that just comment spam, is it? Now, what I see here is that this, the anchor text here, this is the wire link. Posters quote citation. If they have a lot like that, I would I would look into them together again. But yeah, look at this. Yeah. This actually looks like no, that's from those dot Let's let's look at some that are actually active. Sorry. So this is our filter, and with control click, we can add the active font to it. And embedded filter. So now we got active ones that have the go coupon thing, and these are still 654. And those we can actually look at. Well, no fun looking at all these broken websites that we want to disavow, anyways. Look at this the best promo products. Actually, these, these aren't quite the ones I was expecting, actually, but, um, <laughs> okay. but they're, 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 they're still crap, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if something nice comes up here, you know, in the manual review. Of course, if you're watching this and uh, you ask, are you really going through 980 links that have such a poor rating? Rick, do you do that? No, you, you tend to spot patterns, and uh, you know, and you'll, you know, if you see if you see the same anchor from like, um, you know, they're all they're all blog spots, blogs or whatever. I mean, I quite confidently just think that they're all going to be the same, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and yeah, the the more you do it, the more you kind of you know spot those patterns, and um, you know, then then I, the other thing I look at is things like. Uh, the IP address, and I, uh, you know, if I see them all from the same, same IP or something like that, then uh, you know, I think, well, that's just a, you know, either a really bad SEO campaign or some sort of negative SEO or some sort of scraping, you know. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, Christoph, did, did did you see that um, podcast with um, Marie Haynes talking to John Miller uh, from last week? I did not. Oh, it's it's, it's worth watching actually because uh, one of the first questions she asks John is, "Is there any point disavowing a no no follow link?" And he says, "No, absolutely no reason to do that at all." Yeah, yeah. He had that stance. So, for, yes. So why do we get 
no follow links given as samples in uh, failed reconsideration requests. <laughs> and what did he say? He, he, he said that there's never any reason to disavow a no follow link. Right. But we get them as examples for the reason. For the occasionally. Reason. Occasionally. Oh, of course, occasionally. Yeah, we had that in, in 2014 already. Just uh, this week I had um, I had some Twitter conversation with someone on that. I forgot how it was, but it was again. Um, someone realized that the no follows changed and that we had an announcement in, in September last year, in September 2019. And somehow the, the point came up, oh, wait, they changed the no follow. And in their, in their company report, you know, in the, in the earnings report, I think of Google, they said something like uh, they incorporated that into the ranking that the no follows changed differently. And he was all surprised. Oh my God, the no follow changed. And they actually used that information and they used a different way that no follows are interpreted now even officially. So that struck me a little bit because, you know, we've been talking about that in, in September and then in March, even the change for the, for the on-site effects of the nofollow 2.0 came out. But essentially that's in place and active since September 19, no, September 11, mm. 2019, I think. Yeah. So more than half a year, no, what that eight months. And with Google potentially now counting a nofollow link as follow. If, if, they, if they say, yes, we will count them, then they yeah. can count positive or negative. And that also means we should disavow them or not. I know, but it's not what he said. <laughs> but yeah. I, I don't know. It's a the mystery. The thing is, I've never heard Google openly and in public go into that detail. Why? Because that's their core. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll find the link for you and send it to you. Cause it's, 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 it's quite interesting. Cause it's about um, like her first few questions to John are about manual actions and reconsideration requests and all that is, mm -hmm. it's uh, I think you'd find it interesting. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, because of that, you know, 50% of the webmasters believe that they don't need to look at no follow links at all. And so because of that, we introduced this, this, this disavow mode that we, you know, when you click on reprocess, you could say here in the recalculation, activate the no follow evaluation or not. Yeah. So we can handle both cases and then of course if you ignore all the followings and if you say honestly to the system you know what zero risk i don't care i don't think that no follows can cause a problem then of course your risk will go down but um my experience has shown differently and i think yours too right yeah so you are disavowing I mean, no follows I mean, the, the interesting thing with me i suppose is, is that i don't often look look at sites that are doing really well <laughs> you know I'm, I'm always looking at sites that have a problem you know so, yeah, yeah but you know, every site i look at that has a problem has you know wallpaper links has like comments <laughs> spam, uh, has these coupon things so i think maybe every site's got them i don't know but like i i yeah. I, I, I would worry if that was my own site and i yeah. i had all well i have got my own sites and i i get rid of them you know yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Indeed, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know, but you know, I'm always looking at broken things. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, that's your specific business. And I think this is also what, what is interesting in the site clinics because I know that people who have success and have great rankings, they are very careful to show off what they did and show off what they have because then yeah. someone is coming and looking at their stuff and maybe, you know, filing some reports with Google. Yeah. So, so have we got someone who's actually here who can, we can look at their site? Yeah. I mean, maybe we should, can't we ask the audience? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, is there someone of you still... Maybe that someone has a, a site submitted that we maybe prepared that we missed? No. Because then I would just call it a day for today. Okay. Uh, been a... Uh, 
what 75 minutes already and you know i'm sometimes surprised how long people stick around in these shows so thank you very much to all of you guys mm -hmm. for today we'll have a recording i think that should work we got recorded twice so yeah you'll get a link and i'll mail that out um on youtube as usually and for english we see you again in two weeks time okay thanks a lot all right see you in two weeks bye bye see you later okay stop sharing and shall i go Rick, what? I'll see you later. Bye. All right. Stick around. Bye-bye, Rick. Bye. Bye. Au revoir, Vincent.